So I have with me today Valve's newest hardware product, the Steam Deck Dock. Announced alongside the Steam Deck, it was delayed at least one time, and it was made available for pre-order on October 6th for $89. And as a first hour pre-order, Valve has managed to ship it out to my doorstep in Seattle just one week later. So let's open this up and see what we've got. Okay, so let's go ahead and get in here. Simple box, simple tape, very easy to get open. Standard packaging material with a much smaller box. Connect your deck. That, of course, is what this is for. I'm looking forward to this product because I am a big fan of couch setups for playing games. Um, and while you can, of course, just play on the deck directly, while sitting on the couch, sometimes I want to use my big screen. Okay, so this is the actual product box. There's a little bit more tape here. I will just cut around that. And that's enough to get it started. There we go. I think I pretty much got it. Cool. Removed that. And I wonder if this, no, just kind of latch in. Okay. So here we have the dock. It's a pretty simple little cradle here with a USB type C connection here. It's at a 90 degree angle that's going to come up from the top and plug into the deck. Ports on the back. Looks like we have full size display port, HDMI. This is a type C port, um, Ethernet and three USB type. What are these? A USB type A ports. And the deck just sits in like that and as I said ports gonna go in over the top like that so we'll be trying that out real soon for real let's see if anything else comes in this box I'm expecting yes an additional charger looks identical to the one that shipped with the Steam Deck so it's a extra charger which is nice to have I don't know why it was 100% necessary to come with the docking station um, or no maybe this is required I think this is going to go into here and plug into the wall for power um, and then that's going to make sure that the deck can dock to a, uh, a display while being charged at the same time and then it comes with a little booklet health and safety, maintenance, regulatory and limited warranty, and agreement information. I'm sure I will be reading this cover to cover at some point. And that seems to be what we have here. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Um, and I also am fortunate enough to now have a Steam controller. So we'll be trying out this entire kit on a couch based setup and see how convenient that is okay so let's try setting it up i have the dock here it's plugged into power i have the dongle for the steam controller so i will put the dock in the cradle plug in the top charging light comes on and let's see if we can turn it on with the controller make sure it's coming on in the right pairing mode but yeah so far I haven't been successful turning on the deck with the controller so I'll turn it on with the power button up top and it looks like we are connected docking station update available nice and it's updating the firmware
Okay, the update's almost done. Looks like it jumped right back into the UI. And you can see there that the deck is charging. Controller still works. So I don't really know what sort of things were in that update, but overall, this looks like a very straightforward pairing. Um, and I will try this with the display soon enough, but you can see that we can just jump into pretty much anything. Um, okay, and just one more thing to show. Um, now that that firmware update is done, it seems like this is working. I can just hit the Steam button on my Steam controller, and in just a second or so, it manages to turn on the deck remotely, which is super important for a console-like experience because you want to be able to do everything from the controller. So I love this setup. I'm excited to get deeper into it, and I'll see you in the next video.